This quick video is going to show us how crowding out affects the interest rate by using the loanable funds market. So here we have the interest rate on the y-axis, the loanable funds on the x-axis, and this is the market for loanable funds. This curve shows us the demand for loanable funds, so firms, consumers, the government, they would like to borrow money, and as the interest rate goes down, the quantity of loanable funds they would like to borrow goes up. The supply of loanable funds could also be firms, consumers, and the government, but they're willing to save money or supply loanable funds, and the higher the interest rate is, the more funds they're willing to save. So the demand for loanable funds and supply for loanable funds intersects and gives us some equilibrium interest rate and quantity of loanable funds. Now when the government enacts expansionary fiscal policy by either lowering taxes or increasing government expenditures, it has to get that money from somewhere. So it borrows it from the loanable funds market. So when the government borrows money, we see an increase or a shift in our demand for loanable funds. Now, we were at some equilibrium interest rate, and you can see now that after the shift, after the expansionary fiscal policy, there's now a gap. There's a shortage of loanable funds. So the market corrects itself by increasing the interest rate until we get to a new equilibrium quantity of loanable funds and a new equilibrium interest rate that's higher. Now the crowding out is actually this movement along the demand curve. Crowding out isn't a shift in demand, it's these firms and consumers actually lowering the quantity of loanable funds they desire because that interest rate is going up trying to get into equilibrium again. So that's how crowding out increases, well that's how expansionary fiscal policy can increase the interest rate which decreases private firms and consumers um, the amount of loanable funds they receive and we call that phenomena crowding out and that's how it works looking at the loanable funds market